So one day, he took his Wellington boots, chopped them off at the ankle, and tried to pretend they were shoes. And he went to school every day. And as you all know, for a 10-year-old boy in Ireland, going to school with his Irish lunchbox. And an Irish lunchbox is a six-pack of Guinness and a potato. <laughs> Yes, Ryan. <laughs> what was the potato for? Uh, uh, it was a Swedish potato. It was made for making vodka. So anyhow, this song is called Kelly's Wellies. About Kevin Kelly. And it goes like so. In the boardy board. In the boardy board. In the boardy board. board, board. a young one, I knew a lad from Bally Bunyan, he hadn't got a single penny to his name, you might say he had a raggedy coat, and a two rubber boats, he kept his well licked boots on from December until May. Our duds were in fashion. Duds were in fashion. To kindle the passion. To kindle the passion. But there was Kevin on the dance floor looking anything but neat. Well, he was trying to flirt. He was trying to flirt. In his hand-me-down shirt. In his hand-me-down shirt. With the same old wellies on his two big feet. Whoopie dooby doo. He was getting Kelly with his chopped up wellies. Well, in the middle of the summertime. Sure, that never shocked him. He painted on some laces, cut them down to look like shoes. He was poor, but he had style. He made everybody smile. He wore his own wellies. What? He wore his own wellies. What? He wore his own wellies. He had nothing to lose. Time we found him. Next time we found him. Well, the girls were all around him. The girls were all around him. He was busting out the moves. He was as happy as can be when all the girls came near. The girls came near. And whispered in my ear, Only boys who wear their wellies have a chance with me.
thriller. Oh, cool.